guys, this is Dawn with Art Insomnia and today I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I use on a lot of my beads. The first technique I'm going to show you is called threading and it's just winding a thin thread of glass on the bead, much like you would wind thread on a bobbin. Uh, the next technique I'll show you is what I refer to as drizzling and it's a more heavy handed approach to threading when you want a lot of texture on the surface of your bead. Um, for both techniques, I prefer to use uh, thinner rods, um, hand-pulled stringers or factory-pulled stringers. You can use a full-size rod, but I find that using the thinner rod allows me to have a little more control over the amount of glass that goes on the bead. So we're going to go ahead and do the threading now, and for that I'm using a factory-pulled stringer of the Fetre Intense Black. Now when you thread your bead, you're going to want to wind the mandrel away from you. So before you begin, um, you want to start with a warm bead and you want to heat just the tip of your stringer and then wind the bead all the way towards you, touch down lightly and wind that thread of glass on. When you get to the end of your bead, you bring it back up through the flame to cut the stringer off. And I'm going to go ahead and do this again for you and do it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to touch down on this side of the bead and pull away and wind a thread of glass on. Now for my smaller spacer beads, I usually um, just do this and then I leave it raised. Uh, larger beads, I'll add this as a surface decoration and I'll go ahead and melt it in. But there's the threading. Now, for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and use this same bead to show you the drizzling technique. So let me go ahead and melt this in. And shape it back up. All right, now for the drizzling technique, I'm going to use Psyche by Double Helix. And basically, I start out by doing a bunch of threading first in light little threads. And I do this to get um, nice surface coverage. So I will thread right on the edge and work my way over. And I do this several times, adding the threads nice and close together. some light threads on here. What I'm going to do is heat it just a little bit to anchor those so they don't pop off when they cool. Now for drizzling I do the same thing but I leave the bead just under the flame and the stringer in the flame and I start at one edge and kind of just bob and dab and drizzle the glass on kind of in a spiral motion from one end of the bead all the way over to the other. And then I go back in the opposite direction again, bobbing and dabbing and drizzling. Kind of gives a nuggety effect. I don't know if nuggety is actually a word, but that's the way I would describe it. And when you get the coverage that you want, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and I like to lightly marver it just to get like a little bit of a flat face on it, but not enough to where you're going to flatten out the texture. You, you want to leave the texture. But this uh, tends to give the bead a little more uniform shape. Trim up the edges there. And now you have a bead with a lot of nuggety texture on it. And next I'm going to reduce the bead. And I do this by adding just a little bit of propane to stretch out the candles on my flame. And I'm gonna wave the bead right through the end of the candles there. I'll do this a couple times. And then kind of look at the bead underneath the flame to see what kind of reduction I'm getting and what colors are showing. And I'll do this again. And then that's it. The bead is ready for the kiln. And I will show you a photo of the finished beads at the end of the video. 
and that is threading and drizzling. So thank you for watching and have a great day.